Sf ECG test pilot of Alenia Aeronautica, also Giovanni Amoniacci, who won the Sir Douglas Bader trophy, and another former G222 pilot from the Reparto Sperimentale Volo, the Italian Air Force Experimental Flying Unit, Enrico Scarabotto. See the aircraft for its size is very, very nimble. As with the G222 displays of yesteryear, it's a real eye catcher. It certainly is. The, uh, the teamwork and crew cooperation that's going on on that flight deck is, uh, is something to behold. Obviously, uh, in a large aircraft such as this, uh, the, uh, the handling pilot is concentrating primarily on uh, all the handling maneuvers and making all the, uh, the gate heights and speed with the rest of the crew talking him through and, and pattering. A bit like a uh, rally driver and, uh, and his co-pilot. Um, yeah, the chaps here are working very hard to, uh, to keep this display as tight as possible. Uh, obviously with the bombers uh, on the the aircraft. High wing over there and coming uh, back in. And the, uh, the highlights of this for me yesterday were uh, an incredibly well flown knife edge pass, which you will see, and uh, an alternative to their European display where they are allowed to do uh, a full aileron roll. Uh, they end up doing uh, a roller coaster. But here is a knife edge pass. Which is a glorious top side for the top, is that? All of this there being generated by the thin in the future in that configuration, effectively acting as a very small wing, and uh, also lift being generated from the body of the fuselage. So uh, the crew there was a boot for the runner. And it won the US Army and US Air Force joint cargo aircraft deal for 78 examples. Spiral climb that he's just done, followed by a very steep descent. Chase on attack on an aircraft such as this. Obviously, uh, a manoeuvre that you could employ to uh, make a tactical approach to a hostile aircraft, flying in uh, above small arms fire and then diving down to uh, to make an approach within the safe haven uh, of a protected airfield. As to uh, Rolls Royce AE 2100 turboprops, each giving more than four and a half thousand horsepower. Above fair for today. took their first deployment to Afghanistan from December last year to January this. I believe this is now the roller coaster pass. It is, yeah, this is uh, not the sort of thing that you would want to do if uh, you were in any way feeling queasy. Or had a big breakfast. Uh, indeed, yeah, the, or, or had a cup of coffee next to you. <laughs> you would uh, certainly have uh, your pasta lunch packed away by now. This is spectacular. This is uh, a little like what you see from the solo in the French Tricolori in a much, much larger aircraft. So bunting now. Final 